gonna do? Catch me, you gray? Dan. Sorry. I hate him so much. I hate him. God damn it, Penzi. Hey. Shut up. Whoa, whoa, calm down, Sally. Seriously, what's the matter, Sal? I just, I, ugh. Are, are you all right? You would not believe Dan. I'm, I'm just going to take a nap. I'm way too mad to talk about this right now. Hey yo, Danny, how's the day? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little fumed right now because of that, that, because of Sally. Sally? What does Sally ever do to you? I've met her once or twice. She probably picked a fight or something. Dan, did she go and call you damn names? I've met her too, Eric. She's not, I mean... Whose side are you on, Doyle? Why are we picking sides here? You stop it. Don't you have coal to move or something? Hey, wait a minute. What's wrong with coal? <laughs> you go making sides if you're making enemies, short nose. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Whatever. Sally's got me all worked up. I told you. Yeah, you did. So you gonna tell us what happened? Well... Do we really need this kind of negativity? I'm sure it's none. Nothing? Oh boy. That... that damn broad went too far this time. Well, I wasn't there for the altercation in Sherd Creek, but the agents were causing so much of a ruckus about it that evening and got out myself to see what was the problem. No, he tried to cut me off, first of all, and then he started telling me to go. Wait, what? He told you to go? Yes, he was doing it to taunt me, and he said so. He said, I need the run-up, and maybe I should back up and try again. Wow, what a prick. Don't shoot me, but I don't get it. I've told you before, but steam engines don't have full horsepower when they start, especially ones with large drive wheels. For his information, when dispatch let me go in front of him finally, I used the hell out of my booster and cracked 60 before I got into Troy. Listen, I don't want to get stuck behind her on that 2% grade. For her information, I usually get to crack 80 on that ascent. So you're faster than her, like you said. Hell yeah, I'm faster than her. Do you, Willie? Really... What? You know that, right? I, uh, yeah. You need to find out, man. I already know. I heard the doubt in your voice. You have no idea. Oh, for goodness sakes. Are you guys going to grumble about this all night? I mean, I'd really rather not. Then we'd better figure it out, like, quick. And how do you think we ought to do that? You want to do what? Yeah, that seems a little rash. And that's coming from me. I don't know. I say go for it. Blount. Easy now, Sam. Whoa, hey there, manager. Good evening. Now what's this all about? I'm going I'm to race Sally. Dan. Well, son, it was that moment I knew there wasn't any going back on that. So I spent the next couple days arranging the darn thing. In quiet, mind you. But when the word got out the morning before the event, boy did the word get out. Extra, extra, read all about it. The train race of the century, today at high noon. I'm sorry, but did you say train race? Here? Ooh. Sally the silver bullet and Dan the tiger shark. It's gonna be like you've never seen. Like I've never seen. <laughs> Kid, I bet you I've seen speeds you'd never believe. No, the race is. You know the last time this happened? Around here, I think that's never. The last train race was before I was born, mister, and before you were built. My daddy got to see it back in 1927, before the Pontane Wars. Was it now? On the Iron Horseman Railroad? Yeah, he told me all about it. A ten rail named Mark, who had been here a long time, and a newcomer from the East. They called him the Crazy Italian. Well, that explains a lot, actually. Uh, this is all very interesting, but uh, we do have a schedule to keep. <laughs> you already know who's going to win, don't you? Well, I... You do? How? Well, what I mean to say is, how could I possibly know? It hasn't happened yet. Uh-huh. <laughs> Chin up. Anyways, off we go. Have a good day. You too, mister. Spread the word. You bet I will. And the word was spread. 
My, Sally, you're here early. A timely arrival, I do say. Yes, I am. My schedule's been moved around a little today. No surprise I wasn't told. A oh, quick griping, old man. You've got to keep these main lines clear. That's what my job is. Any particular reason you need to reiterate? When I leave here, I'm heading to Douglas to race Dan. You're doing what? One of us, guess who, <laughs> is going to come clattering into the station before the other one. Well then, I'll be waiting. Shine that light on me all you want. I'm not pulling your rods. Really? She's a racing at the season? I'm a seeing of this. Make sure you tell us what happens. Yeah, hope that loudmouth gets it stuck to him. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming too. Where the hell were you? Uh, nowhere. Of course. Katie, Sally, and Dan are gonna race. You gotta see it. What? Did he just say race? Sally and Dan? Long time coming, huh? We gotta tell Cole. So what are they going to do with the winner? I don't know. Probably give him a medal or something. And bragging rights. Why does not both get medals? Aren't they made a medal? Is not what I said. Ivan, you don't understand how competitions work. Ha! The power of capitalism! Yet. It's not about that anyways. I just can't wait to see how it turns out. Me too. Is there not work to be doing? Jerry, you know, our manager, gave us the day off. Well, the half day. This is my last run. This puts Dent in plan. Uh, Ivan? I will go see race. Hey, hey! You go, Red Menace! What? Gabe, Ivan's not in the race. No, no! NASCAR will pick him up sooner or later! Just you watch! Huh, signals ring. Dispatch, can you- Hey Heber, there's a race! Jesus Christ! Also, I know. Good! What? Who's firing me? Hercules? Eureka, you're awake! Yes, I'm awake. What is it? What's wrong? Wrong? Nothing's wrong. Something's amazing. You've got to see. See what? The silver bullet and the tiger shark. Sally and Dan are gonna race! They are? Well, I'm glad one of us knows who they are. Oh, you'll see. Let's go. When does it start? Soon. Noon. Look at her. Dan's a shoe in what does her yurks have to do with it? I mean, I think she looks swell. Don't you go fraternizing with the enemy. Well, I... Don't worry, Eric. He would not be the first to end up distracted because of Sally. See? Oh, shut up, both of you. It's about to start. I can't believe we're going to do with this. Alright, are you two ready? I was built ready. Of course you were. Sally? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Let's go. About to give the signal, but right then Sally's fireman went to wave, slipped, and fell out of the cab. Ended up breaking his arm. Well, saw that coming. I'm getting in on this. Really? I mean, uh, are you okay? Oh. Oh dear goodness. Someone call an ambulance. I think we're gonna have to postpone this. Because of that? I'll take the forfeit. Shut up, you. Uh, there's no need to postpone. We've got the eyes of the world on us. Just a little crew change will suffice. Uh, Pat, you'll be okay. Thanks, Mike. Suppose you're right. In that case, I'll fire Sally. Aw, uh, what? We've got a schedule to beat. Right on. And, uh, sorry, Pat. All right, so we go? Well, I guess I'm doing this then. All right, on your marks, get set, go! Daddy. Go, go, go. Word, word, word. Come on, come on. See you in Davenport, loser. You can do it, Sally. Boo. Hey. We can do it, Sally. Trust me, I've always been rooting for you. Whatever happened to corporate non-bias? <laughs> A little more steep, man. See, Dan had the advantage of acceleration, but because of his smaller wheels. 
But as it turns out, we had a higher top speed. I'm so glad snow melted off. Getting up here would have been awful. I would have pulled you. I know you would have. You hear that? No, I'm deaf. Do you think? Cause there's first suckers! Holy hell. Where's? Not for long, you bastard! Woohoo, go Sally! You can do it! You are not going to win this. Yes, I am! Don't stress yourself, we got plenty of miles to cover. Manager, Jerry, can I call you Jerry? Of course you can. Jerry, this is our chance. If you say so. You later on. <laughs> Nash train! Go guys, go! Hey, yeah, you get him, Wisty! What? I am proud of the being neck and neck. As should be. Go Dan! Why Dan? Seems like everybody else is rooting for the pointy one. I wanted to be different. I am not. I am rooting for both of them. Andy, who are you rooting for? Andy's here? Where? Never mind is gone. By the time we made it to Albany, the hill had taken its toll on both the engines. But Sally and I had pulled out a marginal lead. Considering the track work in that town, that little lead meant everything. <laughs> See you, sucker! We'll send a postcard from the next station. Oh, what? Ah! No, you don't! Damn! I was really hoping we might be able to hold him there a little longer. That definitely would have been nice. How are you feeling? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worn down. I'm not worn down, I'm just getting started. Dan, you better not. Oh, but my beautiful, I am. You're not gonna get the girl by racing her, Dan. Especially when she beats you. Not today. God damn it. <laughs> Thank goodness for those coaches. Who cares about the coaches? Let's go! Come on! Miraculously, 3% downgrade from the summit gave us plenty of ability to accelerate. So, when are we gonna get to hang out again? I don't know, but hopefully soon. Wait, here they come. They sound pretty close. Come back here, you! I'm sure as hell not slowing down if that's what you're asking. Just give up. You know you can't win. I can if you don't pass me. Woohoo! Go Sally! Yeah, wait. She owes me five bucks. Yeah, but Dan's an asshole. Fair point. Go, Sally! Now, we still didn't have a ton of steam. It had all been downhill, but on that long, level stretch between Leighton and Troy, we were just barely keeping ahead of Dan. And even then, it wasn't going to last. Feeling tired at all, sir? A bit exhausted, perhaps? I've been doing this since before you were made, Shark Nose. Don't listen to him, Jerry. You're doing great. We need to be doing better, though. Your boiler pressure's down to 15 pounds. And the main reservoir is losing ground even faster. Who's it gonna win?
Me! Haha! -ha, that's uh, the spirit! I had no idea you'd be so entertained by this. I... I had a history. It's been 26 years, Lee. Can you remember that far back? Oh, you shut up your face! It was uh, the first thing we did when we got to here. Woohoo! Go, Sally! I hate you less! Thanks a bunch, Sam! Yeah, what she said. What? No sympathy for the Diesel? Um... Well, it's just she's... curvy. They're already gone, Nick. Oh, forget that last part, then. Not likely. Back to work. We have half a day off. Not even you were gonna tell me otherwise. Damn, Harry must have really talked some sense into you. Hey, wait, where are you going? Are you, are you gonna come back to your shed? I'm gonna go find the Mark. Well, this can only end well. Yes, yes, yes! No, you are not! I'm bringing the power back. We need to build up more steam. The brakes are going to start applying soon. Brakes wouldn't be so much of a problem if we didn't drag these coaches. We're already going downhill. Come on. Stay right there, Dan. Ah, uh, no way I'm losing this race. and your coaches look seized. Oh, thank the unholy metal machine. Who need these damn coaches anyway? Dan, don't! See you at the bottom of the hill, Sally. Hell no! Jerry, give me all the speed we have. I don't know what Dan's thinking, but we've got mass even more on our side now. Come on, come on! How's flat grounds feel, Sal? No! Ha! Woo! Wait, why am I not stopping? Brakes! Brakes! Where the hell are the brakes? Ah! From the moment Dan lost his coaches, I think we both assumed he was a goner. Without them, he didn't have nearly enough braking force to slow down in a reasonable distance. The finish line being right at the water's edge, well, there wasn't anything in his contract that said we had to fully rebuild him if he'd succumbed to his own stupidity. It only covered minor damage and routine maintenance, and things that weren't clearly his fault. But well, best case scenario there. I'd expect to have Fiss out his wreckage out of the Blackstone and maybe send it back to the Pensy see what they wanted to do with it. I was really worried for his crew more than anything. But that's not what happened, is it? You'll see. Holy crap! There goes the competition! Seeing what just happened, I'm applying these brakes. Now. Oh my goodness, you're here already? Didn't expect you so soon. I, uh, congratulations on the win? I'm not sure if... Dan did sort of get here first. Did? Well, where is he? Uh... Oh, is he? He is most certainly not, my dear Stallion. I've got him right here. What? You do? Listen, I know this is going to sound preposterous, but hear me out. I knew it would be a terrible idea to end such an event in such a precarious location. Of course I was going to be prepared for this. I only wish I had two barges. Thankfully, cooler heads prevailed in your cab, Sally. Any chance you're going to be getting me out of here soon so I can collect my medal? And also, my nose is smashed up thanks to you. Thanks to me? Thanks to me, you're not drowning at the bottom of the Blackstone. Or crushed by an ocean liner, considering you drifted halfway across the bay before I got to you. With hubris like yours, it's amazing you wanted it all. Actually, I won. You did what now? No, you didn't. 
I don't know, Dan. I'm looking around and, I mean, I'm the only one at the station. You're over there in a barge. But, but, I got there first! Listen, Danny, I think you should just consider how lucky you are to be alive. Oh, shut up, you. I want my prize. I can capsize this barge if you upset me. Well, if I recall, the wording is the first one to stop at the station. What? You're gonna give it to her? Listen, Dan, what's that old saying? May the best engine win? And you know, I <laughs> guess... <laughs> I hope you guys know there isn't an actual prize involved. Other than getting your names in the paper, of course. And I'm not going to make an official say on which one of you was the winner. I'll let the tabloids decide that one. What? <laughs> oh, the publicity. So, what did the papers say? On the winner? They argued about it for years. People were hysterical and our stocks soared. That may have been the best controversy we'd ever fallen into. I couldn't have planned it better if I wanted to. Best? Uh, what was the worst? It is something to think about, actually. Well, you've got to run along for today. It's getting quite late, and I'm sure your father wants you home. I'll see you soon, all right? Definitely, Granddad. Have a good evening. <laughs> Thanks for taking my advice, Will. You ever love and hate the outcome of a situation at the same time? Yeah, that's about how I'm feeling right now. <laughs>